Okay, welcome back. It's Jeff off the gridiron today. I thought I'd uh, come out to the local uh, local marsh and uh, showcase the uh, my little hand fishing rig and uh, give it a try here in some clear, shallow water. See if uh, see if we have any luck. And uh, also brought this crude contraption. Basically, it was the top end of a, an old antique fishing rod. I guess that much of it was left, but the handle was broken off. So this was a little PVC kind of a shoulder, a little flange, and uh, put that on there. And I also had uh, had a second one of these uh, kind of wooden capsules off Amazon, and uh, that threads together, and that creates my handle. <laughs> a little little 45 degree elbow copper tubing, and uh, I had a fishing reel, which uh, the uh, the top kind of flat uh, handle part that mounts on the rod that was broken off so this was uh, the next best thing and uh, we'll give it a shot here for is to try the, the hand reel out so I think I'm going to give that a go here. Wind this in. Make a good little compact bush rod or certainly a nice fishing rod in the ice hut but I uh, thought that little build uh, <laughs> worked out all right. I'm going to drop an anchor here to prevent too much drifting happening. Drop my little bell anchor off there and get everything out of the way. This is the fishing rod I was speaking to yesterday where I have a uh, a little pressure fit cap in the bottom and that's in fact where we, we keep our bobber we're going to use that today and in the top is uh, again one of those uh, <coughs> kind of wooden capsule I have a rubber band on there which just creates a bit of a kind of a rubber friction fit and holds that in there it's full of lures hooks and sinkers I'm gonna keep that off to the side because I don't need that right now <coughs> And we have a rubber band holding our hook in place. We're going to uh, pull that, pull that free. And we are in some very shallow water today. All oh, fish just jump. Very shallow water. So we're going to put this uh, bobber at probably eight to ten inches. There we go. I'm just using a little little jig head like a micro jig head with a little micro tail on there so again as before we're going to kind of point our kind of hand reel in the direction we want to go and give ourselves some slack enough to give it uh, enough length to kind of wind up and just toss it out there And then you can slowly retrieve it back in. Just like so, get another toss. Oh, right in the cattails. That's a great toss. That's watching your bobber
sometimes you can get a little, little flick with your fingers, give your uh, lure some action. Jig is sitting a little too deep in the water. So if that's the case, wind it up, just slide it, take the tension off, slide it a little further down. Okay, fish on. So bass. There we go. Wasn't hand fishing, but uh, caught that with one with the uh, <laughs> the homemade rod. Worked out well. Let's get this guy back in the water. Red-winged blackbirds are going crazy. There's their nest right there. I don't know if you can see it straight in there. Anytime you get close to the nest, they go crazy. There he is right there. Hey, buddy. We're not going to touch your nest. It's okay. Well, regardless if it's uh, using the hand line or a regular rod and reel, it's called fishing not catching all the time so uh, we only got that one on the little rod but uh, you know the hand reel is definitely going to work for one of these days so we'll keep at it and uh, see if we find any more luck in some uh, some other shallows until next time Jeff Allen off the green iron thanks for watching enjoy your outdoors bye for now hand line a little bit yesterday with the, uh, the hand fishing reel but we didn't have uh, we only had little grubs or uh, little jigs and tube jigs so now we're going to try to find try to find a worm that we can use to test this strike two nothing Demonstrate this hand reel. Okay, another busy day at the lake. Come back and give my hand hand reel hand line another try. This time with a regular hook. 
<laughs> you saw my video. I wound up yesterday and I spun it and smashed my bobber off the rock. So you got to be careful with your surroundings. <clears throat> Is it in there? Yeah. Still showing. Yeah, I'll get this one. Here we go. Hand lining for fish. Hand lining, this is some fish. I'm going to try to get this. Can try hand lining Keaton. Got him? Mm -hmm. So you turn and hold the other end of the handle. Mm -hmm. Put your. Th no, you just hold it. Hold it like this. And then when you chuck it, all the stuff comes in? Yeah, you point your hand, you point the spool at the. Uh, where are you throwing it? Okay, give it a big toss. Oh. And then just wind it up. Okay, so then the, now you can try it again further. That's the idea. Why don't you get a big bass on here, Keaton? That'll be funny. Keaton's trying his hand hand lining with a crayfish. Throw it out there. There you go, that's okay. Oops. <laughs> well, as Keaton and I keep practicing, we'll uh, leave you for, for today. But uh, don't forget to click like, subscribe, and share. And, uh, Enjoy your outdoors, eh? This is Jeff Allen off the grid. Bye for now. Bye. See ya.